Greetings, everyone, and welcome to R. Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss topics that relate to the appeal process of Robert and the Brooklyn appeal, as well as upcoming Chicago trial. I want to say in just seven days, there will be another judgment day for Robert Sylvester Kelly. I must ask that everyone who believes in the innocence of Robert to send out a positive vibration towards the universe, towards, you know, positive prayer to our higher power that Robert can withstand what still exists within him. He may be able to stand this test of time knowing that things change. When we go through the process of extreme hardship and change in judgment, things happen to our bodies. Our bodies break down, our trauma increases. Knowing that others have spitefully slandered this man's name for the sake of fame and money and fortune and cast all types of stones against his character, may he continue to have the peace that surpasses all of his knowledgeable understanding. It may not make sense, Robert, right now, and it may not suppose to make sense, but it will eventually make logic. And this is beyond the sense. It is the understanding of wisdom. And, and I thank everyone here at R. Kelly Appeal TV for clicking on this chat, this video today, because this podcast is saying we appreciate everyone for taking the moment to be here with us to give this message some form of a uh, power to be manifested by all of our thoughts. Because if we think it, so it shall become. I also thank you for being here today and thank you for commenting all your blessings on this post. So bring as many positive statements that you can bring on here. Um, see, what still remains is the power of hope and that little mustard seed of faith from within Robert. That's what's left. See, the devil understands the life of a good person. The devil understands the life of greatness. He was an angel. He fell. So the trap set are there to take away the power of the faithful, of the believer. Yet if we know that the moves of the enemy is there, we also know that it's nothing to resist it. It is nothing to cast out and throw away anything that is not of what we are expecting. See, no one knows what the outcome will be. No one knows what the, I mean, you know, it looks sometimes like, just like playing a tennis match or a football game, you know, sometimes our rooting team may be losing, but just that one second can shift it immediately. And that's the power of manifestation and the hope. You have all these fans in the stadium and they're rooting for their team. And then their team is losing. And it's like a couple seconds before the ending. And then there goes that magic three-point shot. There goes that final, you know, um, whatever it is when the football goes into the goalie, okay? There goes that magnificent move because the fans manifested. Come on, come on, come on, please. You can do this. Let's go, 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 go. You got a lot riding on it. You know, you got a lot riding on it. And so that is the power of manifestation. We do it all the time. Let us want a beautiful home. Let us want a brand new vehicle. We're going to manifest and continue to want it so, you know, severely that we already know we have it. And this is the extreme power to positive thinking. So that's why I brought this video up today, because the faith that we want brings about the expectation of what will occur. So Robert, this is a test of our faith as well as yours.
You know, everyone is feeling this energy right now. Many people are getting very, you know, antsy. Mm -hmm. Some people aren't sleeping. Some people have anxiety. This is a real life scenario here. You know, and someone made the remark, well, people are having all this, you know, all this to do about this individual and they're not even family. No, sometimes we can be family based on the connection of things that bring us together. So his music creates a family. His music creates a family reunion, a wedding, a childbirth, um, a receptions, backyard parties. It manifests so much. So with what still remains, let's continue to make this a positive vibration for Robert. You know, all the negative has already been said. The worst thing about Robert has already been said and done. You can't keep saying the same thing when power is over here trying to manifest greatness. There is nothing that can be said about Robert anymore. All the stones have been cast and thrown and he's still alive. He's still vibrant. He may show the remnants of a traumatic experience and we may not see him as the same person we did before, but the energy of Robert is always going to be innocent. It's always going to be like young at heart. So you may ask, how do we manifest? How do we do this thing that you're talking about? We do it by continually singing good thoughts of the individual. Let no one take away your song whether you can hold a tune or not. You know, some people can say, oh, stop singing. Man, stop hating. You ain't got a song in your heart, so you don't want nobody to sing. Bye with that, Felicia. Bye with that, uh, uh, Karen. You know, how can you manipulate somebody else's happiness to bring about what they want? And that's what society has done through mainstream media. It's like, you're singing and you're walking or you're whistling and somebody don't like the tune and they tell you to stop. That's exactly what that energy looks like. So when you hear them say stop, even if it's in your own mind, you rebuke that and sing louder, sing stronger, sing more powerful and watch the enemy bow down or resist. So we do this by continually singing good thoughts. Let no one take away your song, whether you can hold a tune or not. Keep what is still powerful within you and be not wavering over the things in this media that we're hearing every day that causes fear, intimidation, and uh, uh, what is that? Curiosity, because we're thinking, is it true or not? Mm. That's all negative vibration. And when you hold negative vibration to what you're trying to manifest, there goes distractions. So it's kind of like when you manifest a, a brand new vehicle, but yet you have fear that you can't get it. Then something happens and you actually get the brand new vehicle, but then something goes wrong with the vehicle. Because you put in that little ounce of negative vibration, something is going to happen. So the manifest occurs, it happens, but other things come through as well. And this is the distractive part that I want you to throw away from manifestation and constantly get into a quiet location, sit there and see what it is you want. See Robert walking out of those gates free like he did in 2008. See this taking place. See everything that the 
enemy is trying to create for this situation to come out in its true truthful area, the where it's continually showing that prosecution is doing wrong. It's continually showing that the powers that be is distracting and 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 humiliating this situation just because they hold the power. Continue to see R. Kelly looking happy and not like what you see on that picture that they want us to promote in our minds for him. No, keep the happiness. I put that picture there so you can shift your mindset so it can be more positive, more positive. Um, so with that, I wanted to just drop a remnant that R. Kelly has left behind telling us the storm is over now. Okay. The storm is over now. We don't care about where the system has the story, where the media has the story. We now hold truth and power in the storm being over, seeing him victorious, having him singing at other, you know, parties we're about to have, you know, the ones that we can do independent now because COVID has already the pandemic has already shut down the world to the point where a lot of people don't go to coliseums anymore. So the powers that be that own those coliseums no longer make the money. Okay. Okay. He can run his own, you know, um, platform right off of a website and everybody comes in with a ticket and purchases it and everything goes right to him. So the world is, he's a genius in a world full of, of opportunity. So I'm not here to preach. I just want to tell you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this podcast. And as always, I want us to keep it 100 and remember what you're feeling emotionally. Take that break and sit in a corner somewhere and just breathe. That's what we need to do and see him victoriously walking out and walking out of those doors in the next year by December. You know, one thing I do hold on is faith that he will return. I don't care who speaks it. The spirit may use this body to speak this word. So that person may have been the body of the spiritual essence that will bring him out because of the manifestation that we have for him. So I thank you. Um, And you have a blessed day and we'll see you next time. And as always, keep it 100.